Sorry, television wa ti wan ti wa television e kabo si ori e to wa lojo jom oru kote mini adeta yo a rumo laro olo wori adudu omo ya la dra kenke today with me i'm having a professor a leader a grandma a wife and also the first retired professor from Department of Agricultural Extension and Rural Development in Federal University of Agriculture. The professor is already with us and I want to say Professor Mrs. Comfort Uyekale Adamu. You are welcome to our program. Good afternoon, ma. Good, Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, viewers. I want you to go to the house. 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 I want you to go to the to go to the house. I want you to go to the house. I want you to go to the house. I want you Good morning, viewers. A car and Yarami. And Sanum could a waraka Yamwa. Oh, da. At you go at Yamwa, at Yamwa. Go along, what in Bawa go? A king cabos were you to a lair conceit. In what don't Latin me and Latin re in your ear to Luni. And today we really want to have one on one discussion with you to tell us about your experience at work, at home, and we want you to share this experience so that it can encourage the young ones and also the society. So let's kick off from this point. Let's ask, let us know about your background, man. Tell us about your parents, their name, their occupation, how their training was like, and as well. As the things that you have, the morals you have learned from your training that has helped you to today. Thank you very much. Uh, as you said, I was born in Ogomasho. My parents were Pa Samuel Oyetunde Oke and Madam Okeyola Oke, both of the Eyeba. Okay, I just compound in Ogomasho. You get me motivated. Ogomasho, you are being missy. Shubani Gwati, I'm moving. Where is he? Me she, oh, Orua J one. Ani lati lo, ibiti Gold Coast. I'm going to Ghana nisi. Ibe ni I'm moving. Ti bebere o she she. Ibe ni mo dagasi. Ibe ni mo ti se ile iwe akobere ati grammar asiko na je asiko ti o dara nkan dara nigba na tori na mo fi eko ile ati ti ile iwe mo fi fun gogo wa to take us to the next question to ask about how is your schooling education career was like Starting from the primary school up to the point of PhD. So, I was told that he did a little bit of a career. He did a little bit of a career. He did a little bit of a career. Yes, sir. As I said, my primary school education was in Ghana. I attended the. We, we, we called it the United because it was a, an institution that was brought about by a combination of some denominations. So they called the schools United. I attended the United Primary School, uh, Tamale, also the United Middle School in Tamale, from where I went to the Ghana College, also in Tamale. There, uh, I did the West African school certificate. Uh, then Ghana was 
uh, giving the O levels in the general certificate of education. From there, I proceeded to the government secondary school, also in Tamale, in the northern part of Ghana. It was there that I had my A levels. By that time, the Buzia regime had sent Nigerians back home. Wow. So my parents had moved into Nigeria and therefore after finishing the A-levels, I had to come into Nigeria. Precisely, I came into Nigeria in 1971 and then uh, October 71. By then, schools had start, university education had taken off. So I had to spend that year in the house. Luckily, I was absorbed into the Oguma Shore Girls High School, where I taught for that year. And I got admission into the Obafemi Awolowo University the following year, 1972, into the Faculty of Agriculture. Uh, in 1977, I got employment into the Sokoto State uh, Teaching Service, and I, I taught as a, an agricultural science teacher in the then Sokoto's, uh, Sokoto Teachers College. Life was easy then. I spent close to 10 years in Sokoto Teachers College. From there, I was made the first Nigerian Inspector of Agriculture in the Inspectorate Services of the Sokoto State then. I stayed in the Inspectorate Services for briefly for about three years and then I wanted to join the federal establishment. So the opportunity came when the federal government established the only all-women tertiary institution in West Africa to so now, uh, Federal College of Education Technical for Girls Only in Guso. It gave me the opportunity of moving into the Federal College of Education, Guso, now Zamfara State. And that's how I got into the uh, academics. I got into the academics in 1993. A shepherd mama, a jerky hour padas, Levi, Cabo City one to work, and Latio Nutes Wagara for more, a year called Gigat, it's a facility or be King Yamoy, Lily, at Yamon, a pili, pili, will let you share, at Yamoy, you will let you pass you share, at Yamon tea and a soap, Nipa, a year called Gigat, it's a shagani, Ulotu. Mo wasi le akogi ga ile ise ogbin ni odun 2002 ni asiko na ojo gban professor fi adu oni o je olori ile iwe na eni ti o si je olori e ka ti wa ni igba na ni ologbe professor apantaku Ni asiko mi gaja bi mo se wi ile iwe wa gbe ga o ti a a ti po to ba se po ni sisin oju si kara mu a ise 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 ta nse gaja bi ise ogbin o o o je ta kun ta kun awon omo foju si ise ogbin tori asiko na o fe le je wi pe leyin eh awon to awon ise to je ohun to fara pe ogbin o ise ogbin lori sirisi leka leka emi ti awon ma wa ko awugo ale ti gbo ipe mama fi igba kan ba awon egbe obirin se ni ile eko funabu bi kini pati eko ninu egbe ati kini oruko egbe a she uh, uh, National Association of University Women. A better da sile fun awa o birin 
ti a je ki se oluko nikan sugba gbogbo obirin to dagba to ni nkan se pelu igbe aye awon akeko ni university yi o ni amojuto ise ise egbe yi ni bi awon odo ma birin ti o ba wo inu ilewe yi bi won o se ni anfani ati le jade pelu ohun to dara ati le da duro ati ni igbesi aye ti yo o se muyanga ni ore kore awa ti a je bi oluko won ti a korajo ati awon ti o nba won sise ama n pe awon omo debirin wa a to won so na a fi oye ohun to ye ohun amunyanga fun obirin a fi ye won fun igbati mo se nse darada ti mo se sise takun takun pelu egbe yi mo je akapo egbe the treasurer of the association for some years one of the mandates crucial mandates of the association is uh, helping the female students to feel comfortable and to be able to actualize their uh, reasons for being in the university as we know not all uh, students come from well to do families there have been cases of indigent students and when such cases are made known to the association the association through the departments of such indigent students whether male or female have come to the rescue i know that uh, there have been very uh, cases very important cases of indigent students being helped but also to encourage our students the uh, association has a way of uh, uh, giving out especially during convocation uh, female students that excel uh, are recognized Oda. Et Lulu Femi, Sunday, we are Kali Adam. Shuba, ati be ni moti losi fe, awansi losi ba yero university. Eri ipe, o jin sira. Shuba, nga tolo mwa she, moutun lo she, ishe, isin, isin lu, NYSC, ni kanu. All of the elders can construct and restructure the society. Uh, being a retired professor, and you have had a lot of experience with students, we want you to give us the student, present students in the university. You know, they are engaging in a lot of things. You have had your who plus, your who this, what or be their advice on how to guide them and also advise the government on what they can do on the state of education in Nigeria. My viewers, the state of education in Nigeria as regards students, students going into all sorts of things like Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo Plus, is appalling. And my advice to those students, parents, and the generality of public is that we go, students go into this as a result of wanting things that are beyond them. The first and foremost is that parents should try to teach children contentment. All religions, be it Christianity or Islam, teaches contentment and the bible says contentment 
is 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 great gain. That's whatever we do. When students are on campus, they are supposed to focus on their studies. If they have come from homes that are able to provide as much as they need, they should be contented with those provisions and work hard. Work hard to get those things that they have come for. And once that is done, they will, there will not be any need for going into Yahoo. Another thing is the fact that uh, financial crunches. We all know what Nigeria is saying as regards finance. And I am glad that now entrepreneurial skills are being emphasized in all our institutions. It does not have to do with color, white collar jobs. As much as possible, you come in to look for a certificate. You are also supposed to learn a trade. And once you have a trade, there will not be such that you, you will be without food, without the basic necessities of life. I think these are lack of these basic necessities are what is driving uh, our students to do things that are criminal. So as much as possible, parents should try to guide their uh, children in the path of the Lord, so that they will shun evil acts, and at the same time, teach them to have skills, skills that will give them financial backing. As regards the state of education and my advice to the federal government, uh, almost all institutions are in their need of material, teaching materials, research materials, financial crunches, teachers, lecturers are not paid well. All these tend to have effect on our educational system. I would advise that instead of proliferation of universities, the federal government should find a way of making sure the existing universities are up to required standards. Standards in all aspects that the university is supposed to be the federal government should see to read that these universities do not lack the good things they need to train our students. Once that is done, I think the educational system will be better off and the students being churned out will also be disciplined citizens of Nigeria. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mama. I want to believe that people will listen to your advice and it will change the society for better. Uh, but whenever we hear the name professor, we just want to believe it must be a uh, professor want to carry, carry, carry. It's all about research, publication, and what have you. The only one you can see is that you can see the video that you can see in your life. You can see the video that you can see in your life. You can see the video that you can see in your life. You can see the video that you can see in your life. You can see the video that you can see in your life. We only but when you we only when you we only any when you affect more. Ah, that's how I say. My friend, we only but go. Actually, most of the time, ah, in this city, my own way, Latino, I'm not only money. In fact, like by the, I want my me to call the can move us to buy one land where. Mostly buy me see that he in front of you alone in your dad that money below the nika opo jesu loko ready uh only yeah only yes it's a it's an only team of more bad way more bad way more bad way
and today we are going to be drawing the cutting of this program. I remain your friend, Adeta Yo Arumolano. Thank you for listening, Mama. Thank you very much. See you another time. I am Professor Comfort Ibirum Keshudia. I am delighted to give this goodwill message uh, for my highly esteemed namesake, Professor Comfort Adamu. It's a delight working with Professor Comfort Adamu. She had been a very wonderful academic partner for several years. She is like a family member to myself and my husband. My children are so fond of her, they call her Big Mommy. Professor Adamu is not only an academia, she's also a good cook. I learned how to cook delicious food from Professor Comfort Adamu. Professor Comfort Adamu, as you go into retirement, I pray that you will not retire into debt, you will not retire into sickness, you will not retire unto the wheelchair. The Lord that has kept you thus far will still continue to keep you. The Lord will keep your children. He will continue to prosper them. I pray that as you enjoy this retirement, the fruits of the retirement will be sweet in your mouth and you will eat it for a very long time. I'm surely going to miss you in the department. I love you, Mama. Mwah. Dear Professor Mrs. Comfort Adamu, uh, it's a delight to have been your colleague for so many years and to work with you uh, in the Department of Agricultural Extension and Rural Development. As you uh, go into retirement, we pray for you long life, sound health, and blessings all around. I am very delighted to have been acquainted with you. Please enjoy your time post-retirement. Kola Wale Adebayo is my name.